Zero. It's uh, I believe Friday the seventeenth. Uh, decided to work uh, some of this thicker along the fence row today a little bit. I know there's stuff in here, but there's a lot of trash mixed in with it, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Got the DD cool back on and uh, my white MXT setups I've been using about one and a half to two on discrimination, about one and a half to two on a gain. Relic mode, ground balance, and I'm trigger forward again. Got my first signal, it's right here. It's like to be a poncho grommet. And uh, I'll take it. It's reading about 14 on the meter. Little tiny poncho grommet. That'll work. Piece of brass. Start the day off. This is Earl. See you at the next haul. Well, I just got my first little surprise. I just dug about eight or, eight or nine pull tabs, and I thought I had another pull tab. I was reading about 42, 47. The pull tab's been reading about 30, 32. And uh, I already dug it up. I cleaned it off a little bit because I didn't know what I had. But I got me a cool, cool, cool little card piece. And I'm not too sure what the what the cal what it was. Probably probably a three ringer. It's likely a three ringer. It's got a fairly decent base, but if you look at it close, I don't know if it's gonna show up or not. You can see over the end they cut chipped on the right there at the around the end. You see the little cuts there. The rings have been completely cut off. And a little bit of chopping off the top as well. I'm not sure what they were making. But it's another uh, another car piece from the field. This one's uh, actually on the south side of the field, which I haven't found too many car pieces on this end. I've mainly been up on the north end of the field. I'm going to explore around some areas I haven't hit that hard. Uh, the problem is I think the dirt's been disturbed in this area. Get a lot of modern junk. I got another makeup case and ton load of pull tabs already. But uh, got me a nice little car piece. Like I said, don't know what they're making. They're making something. All right, this is Earl. You have a good one. See you at the next hole. Oh, by the way, he's reading about 42.47. If I don't remember if I said it's 42.47 on my VDI. This is Earl. Have a good one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a faint little deer trail that runs right through here. And I found a few footprints. I ran across this the other day. It reminds me of Bo's videos. But I uh, started finding bones. Here's the backbone. Backbone, backbone. Here's a little skull. And I think it's a little button, but sure enough it is. What's left of it? I don't see the jawbone right off the hand. A cool little button butt. He didn't make it. I don't know if he didn't make it through the winter or he got shot. Or what? But this is his final resting spot. This one's for Bo. Bo and his dead kills and they're on the final one he's metal detecting. This is what's left of a doe or a button buck. I'll see you guys. Well, guys it's been, about a, been a while since I've done a signal. Try to work in some areas that haven't produced well in the past, but I'm slowing way down. Just dug a pretty good size hole in the sidewall. Got to me a button back. Who knows what it was? Typically, this is what our buttons look like. But the, it looks like an eagle, but. Heck, the shank's all gone, face is gone, been gone for a while. But, it's a button. Half button, count as a half. This is Earl, and uh, that was a coat size. Looks like the imprint, I don't know man, there ain't nothing left of it, it's just toast. Alright, this is Earl, half a button, only signal I've gotten in a while. This is, uh, got drizzled on, and... Got a little bit to go right, yet. Just a go. couple inches. I just dug a piece of melted lead right there and just a couple inches away over here. Got an interesting piece. I haven't dug one of these out of the field yet. Um, I usually call them diary hinges. Uh, little small diaries. They got uh, usually got a hinge on just like, you know, if your daughter, you got a diary. It's got a little hinge or a little lock on it. And uh, That's what I think that is. What I'm calling it. Made out of brass. A couple of little, it's got like three little tiny tacks and one up there on it goes in. I think we usually just call them diary hinges for, you know, like books you write in diaries. Cool little piece, not that deep. About a 14 22 low end signal. Uh, 
Should be reading brass. Brass usually reads a little higher than that, but that's it. Little what I'm gonna call a little little diary hinge. All right, guys. See you at the next hole. Gotta go here soon. All right, just got another signal not far away. Just got a bullet signal. It's in right there. It is. I say it's in this clump here somewhere. And this one's fired. This one here's fired. And I don't know what else. I don't know. I have to clean that one up. Oh, there it is. It's a three ringer. You can see it barely on the side. Actually, it's not a three ringer. It's a It is a three ringer. It's one of those uh, Williams Williams uh, regulation bullets with the wider base. Had to clean it up. Possibly could be a gardener, but I don't think it is. Had to clean it up some more. Yeah, it is gardener. Double ring on the base. It's a fired gardener. Probably some yank sitting here. He's probably sitting there reading his diary. He got fired at. Not far from that hinge. All right, got a fired gardener bullet. And uh, not too deep of a signal. And the uh, piece of melted lead, the diary hands are right there. It's about seven feet, six feet away. All right, guys. Might have been uh, some red firing at a Yankee. Reading it, reading it, writing his diary. All right, later. All right, on my way out, got a signal. I think I just got stung by a field bee too. But how ironic is this? Yesterday I dug one of them belt studs down the south end of the field. Here I am up on the midways, the north end of the field. And I'll be daggone, and this one's actually got a rivet head on it. This is another big old rivet stud. I'm not sure what this one's for. This one's not quite as heavy as the other one. This one's actually got a pounded end on it. So this is probably, Figure for a pack or something, maybe some kind of pack stud. Very similar to that one dug yesterday. Except this one you actually see where uh, they pounded the head on it. Right there. Alright, this is real. Got me another stud, brass stud. On the way out. Have a good one.